Hi Cancerians, welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. What's up? It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been like, I don't know, 10 hours we haven't seen each other. You see me more than your soulmate. Well, maybe we're soulmates. Who knows? No kidding. How are you? At the end of this video is a... I was gonna say it's a relapse. Sorry. It's a throwback, a recap. Okay? So you might have a relapse with regards to your relationship. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Mm. We'll deal with this together. Welcome to the kitchen. Okay. When we cook, and well, we cook, and we make some tea. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's up with you guys. Let's have fun with your reading. How's that? How's that? Let's have fun. Okay. Let's have fun. Hope it's a good one. Okay. These are bi-weeklies. Okay. Now let's see what's up with you guys. I said fun. It's coming out. Nine of Swords has been here. No wonder you want fun. Mm -hmm. What's bothering you? What What are you worried about? Nine of Swords. That's you. Um, you know, there is a feeling of like uh, you know, Britney Spears. My loneliness is killing me. Nine of Swords. Um, I must confess, I still believe. Nine of Swords. Uh -huh. um, this is about paranoia and stress, of course. can be, um, you know, you feel like, oh, it will never work out. Oh, we broke up. You know, it's like all these things that you overthink. Okay. I put on my cardigan just for you guys here. Oh. <laughs> it's cold. Okay. Nine of Swords, you are stuck in a place where, you know, it's like you're fighting your own demons at the same time. Mental thoughts. Uh, mental thoughts. You know, it's like you can fight that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can't have a good sleep, you know. Do some lavender. Lavender is good. Okay. That would enhance and make you feel also um, sleepy. Mm hmm Got okay, a three of pentacles. Uh, you've been thinking about this person if it's still gonna work out. We don't know, okay? Because the three of pentacles here shows that you are being ignored by this person and you know it's like they're going through their work. That's a three of pentacles. It's just like they're all about their coins right now. They could have just started a business, you know. They're also consulting people here, so chances are you're asking for advice. They they don't they're not detached from you, okay, if that's not what you're wondering. However, I feel like they will ignore you, like, to the core with uh, Three of Pentacles. They will, mm hmm Your Nine of Pentacles. So, you choose your side, okay? Either you're the Nine of Pentacles or the Nine of Swords, because one is just having a good life, okay? And one is worried. Because if you are in the healthy side, then you are here, you know, it's just like you're managing yourself, you're doing good, you know, it's just like you're everyday morning, you know, you hear the birds chirping and you're fine. Well, someone here is having, um, you know, worries and worries and worries. Hmm. So this worry that you have with this person is, I feel like it's about, uh, how to say this? Um, it's about them not being with you, okay? It's about them uh, doing their own thing. Like, you don't want them, you know, kind of like you don't want them not being attached to you. Let's be honest. You want this person to be dependent, okay? You got a four of wands. Mm -hmm. They're looking for a new relationship here. Because the nine is going there, okay? This is not like, oh, I'm single, I'm ready to be with you, Cancer. Mm -mm. No. They're looking already for a new relationship. Again, this can be you. 
Mm-hmm. Someone is worried that they're because the head is tilting to the to the four of wands, and one person is stuck with the nine of swords. Hmm. Stuck with the nine of swords. That's not good. Yeah. Let me see here. If you're asking for someone bubbly, okay, it's freaking 5 a.m. right now. Uh, so don't expect it to be bubbly. <laughs> Got the moon card. So that's you, definitely. Either that or you're dealing with another concern. In your mind right now, there's only one person that you want to be with. But there's so many things that I feel like you have to face by yourself first here with the Knight of Swords. There is a side of you that you've never seen. There's a side of you that you thought that would never be this clingy. Okay? Um, you feel the need to be in emotional connection with this person also. There is a level where you don't know okay, who you are. Like It's just like I'm lost if I'm not with this person. You're emotionally challenged right now. Okay? You need to do some, uh, uh, how to say this, um, you know, some saging, some cleansing, some nice meditation, mantra, frequent healing frequencies, you know. Because you're troubled, very, very troubled, concerned. I've never seen you this troubled, mm -hmm. or a concerned reading, basically. Are the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords, so I know now, now I know. Mm -hmm. You don't have to tell me. Mm. Keep pulling those cards, so now you will know why I'm worried. I know, it's right here. Mm. It's almost like this incense that I have, it's like we had, we need to smoke on this, considering. Mm -hmm. Or we need to sage this reading right here. Three of Swords, we have Three of Pentacles. Um, there was a separation. I feel like there are already other people that this person is considering. They're already searching. Um, you know, it could be connecting with a Taurus also here, or a fire sign. But I feel like they've gotten over the relationship. They've gotten over the breakup. Because if the Three of Pentacles or the Three of Swords is just like, for them, their recovery is about going to work and managing their finances. You know, it's like they're trying to be busy. I mean, like they're busy, but they're trying to be busy, busy and not be emotionally attached to the situation. Mm -hmm. And the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Cups, can be dealing with a Scorpio. Mm -hmm. So they want to be single right now, and they're just feeling that um, that they want to be with a new person. Uh, so normally, I would pick up y you as a current. You want a new person. Um, and, you know, as hurtful as it may sound, you can always flip it and reverse it, right? Um, whoever is the one who's stable, they're really looking for a new commitment now. The King of Swords can be same sex that you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. This is them determined. Mm -hmm. I feel like they already have said what they have said, or you have done that. Can be an Aquarian here. Someone here sees themselves in the future with uh, someone else. Underneath the moon is a page of pentacles. So you might message this person. You know, it's almost like you wanna you wanna patch things up, okay? You wanna fix it. But you might get rejected with the four of cups. Mm -hmm. They've healed from it. Okay? So I mean for this energy, I really feel like they have closed the chapter. In the connection and you know it here like we get to the real T here so I call it I call it spade a spade so if you're dealing with an X and you are still lingering in that energy their energy is not with you anymore their energy is wanting to belong to someone else ten of Pentacles mm-hmm the king of swords is sitting there that's why King of Swords, Four of Wands, yes? Mm. So, 
they're detached because I'm not sure how rocky the relationship is with it when they were with you, but they really don't see that um, coming in right now. And if you do, again, send a message or, you know, like reach out, chances are, you know, it's like they're not going to be as responsive with the Four of Cups. You might get rejected. Okay, and then it, of course, you'll even feel uh, feel more the Three of Swords. All right? I told you we're going to be happy. I don't know what happened here, though. Okay? So I'll continue this reading, um, Concern. and link down there in the description box for the extended one. And then there's going to be an extended two, which is the next video after this. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Well, I'm not sure if you're going to have a wonderful... How about smoke some something over there? I don't know. Smoke something. Lit something. Oh, no kidding. I'll see you guys there. Bye. Hi, Syrians. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your December 17th to the 31st. There's a pre shuffle, but so that I don't forget. Um, but I want you guys to have a wonderful, wonderful new year. It's December 17th. This hair is a little bit bothering right now here. Okay. <laughs> um, have a wonderful new year coming your way. Is the last of the bi weeklies. Um, it's about time to celebrate life, Cancerians. Okay, here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. In the pre-shuffle, there was a Two of Cups and a Death card. Take it as how, how, as how it is. Um, it's a Scorpio season. Of course, they're out there. Okay? <laughs> they're out there. Okay? So you can be dealing with Scorpio, or it's also a transformation between you and this person as a Two of Cups energy is um, love. So death and rebirth process in love, meaning someone is falling in love. Here we go. <laughs> We're using tarot, cartomancy, and intuitive. Okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, for people who's wondering about the cartomancy, this is the same as older. It's older than tarot, okay? If you guys are not familiar. Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's begin. Got the Princess of Cups. The Seven of Cups. Ooh, what happened, Concerion? What happened over here? It's a mess. It's a mess. Um, Prince of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Someone is hurting. Okay. Hurting, feeling that the other person, okay, this can be your other person, has options. Okay. <laughs> I see here it can be same sex. The other person is thinking, because the other person looks good and gorgeous. Okay. And the other person is just like, who am I? What can I do? Because <laughs> the Prince of Cups over here is like, they, they feel like I'm not being recognized over here. And this person is a lot of people around them. The Seven of Cups over there. They're probably attending parties and dealing with a lot of people. I don't know what they're doing. The Prince of Cups is clueless. So now it becomes Three of Swords, hurting. I feel like you're not with this person because the Princess of Cups is totally by themselves. <laughs> and the Seven of Cups, oh, oh, the Three of Swords fell. And we know when it fells, we don't read it. We have to shuffle, guys. That's it. Okay, so from a heartache, Okay, something is about to change. This is when, you know, in reality, in real life right now, what's happening is something is going on there that is changing. Let's see. What's... Uh, oh, oh, wow! Instead of hurting, someone finally decides to make an offer. Ace of Pentacles. Whoever was dating, other options, has choices. Someone is being singled out. And if it's MTV, it's called singled out. <laughs> Not sure how old are you, but you know, I never saw that. <laughs> Prince of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Um, if you're dealing with someone who has multiple options or whatever, and they have a lot of dreams, for example, is if it's not options, um, they have a lot of things that they want to do. They only want to do one thing right now, and that's a commitment. Ace of Pentacles. Goodbye. Okay, let's see here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Because from a Seven of Cups, when you go and it escalated to an Ace of Pentacles, you're with someone who's ready to commit because they already explored whatever dreams, aspiration that they want in their life and now they walk. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. King of Hearts. Yeah, definitely. Could be dealing with... Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 <laughs> someone is scratching their head over here. They always do that. I'm not sure who that is, but I know. <laughs> And puzzled, the other person is puzzled. I feel the other person has already spoken about their feelings and the other person is trying to think, how do I express my feelings? Two people um, two people here, I feel. Love each other. Sincerely and dearly. Okay, let me see the other person. Nine of diamonds. Nine of diamonds. Single. 
ready to give. Mm -hmm. I just got a text message, so meaning that's a symbol for you. Okay, for her that is. Single and ready to mingle, but they ain't mingling. They only want one person they want to commit again. Nine of diamonds. See, this thing keeps spinning. So someone is really trying to to work the situation out in a way that everyone wins. What does that mean? Because the nine wants to go to the ten of diamonds. They want to be a winner. Underneath the king of hearts. Oh, next up. Eight of hearts. Wow, look at that one. Eight of hearts for me is throbbing. Okay, throbbing meaning... It's alive. It's a. Some people can love you and never really feel anything. Okay, this is a love that you feel. It's there. Okay, and Eight of Hearts energy is like it's been going on for quite some time with you and this person. Both now. No, it's about to be spoken of. It's, someone is about to say it. Underneath the next to the Nine of Diamonds, King of Clubs, which is a speaker of the house. Okay, <laughs> the House of Cards. Okay, because. <laughs> Um, it's a speaker, okay? I don't know why, but someone is speaking, okay? And they're saying, I'm single and I'm in love. <laughs> I'm single and I like you. And the other person scratches their head because they don't want to say it, but they do. And the eight of hearts. Eight of clubs. They <laughs> so the other person is puzzled. Clubs for me is learning experience. So they're learning that this person is crazy. I'm kidding. No, they're learning that this person is very expressive. They like to express themselves. And they're scratching their head because it's just like, I'm not... Okay, I know what that means. I'm not one of those who expresses it. But, you know, like, I have feelings. Whatever, concerns. Whoever this is, right? It's here. Next to the King of Diamond. The Sun card. And the Two of Spades. Can be a Leo you're dealing with, or you're a Leo. Sun and Scorpio. <laughs> and a Leo rising. So the one who's overwhelming is this, the one who has the sun in the first house also. The saying also. Two of clubs, it says the other person's like, I'm learning also how to commit. <laughs> they balance the energy. It's cute, these two people. Hermit card, wow. The other person is looking at it like, Okay, I understand that we have this spiritual union. The other person is understanding this now. I understand that you love me. I understand that you care about me. A lot of understanding, okay? This person understands a lot. Because the other person is just too much. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> See, what's the divide? This is the divide. Wow. Mm -hmm. The other person with the two of clubs energy over here, they're going to say it's like, it's your call. Ace of clubs. So the other person leaves the offer on the table, which is Ace of Pentacles, right? I put the offer right there. Let's see if it's gonna be accepted. Because the offer is just, it's just sitting there. It's just there. Okay. It, opportunity, it's just there. Someone just said that too. Mm -hmm, whatever that means. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I will see you guys again. Have a wonderful, wonderful end of the year and start of the year. Link down there in the description box for extended. Um, there's a tarot class um, also there. There's a 2019 prediction for each zodiac. The link is down there. Stay awesome, Cancerians. And I always love my Cancerians because they're all, I'm always around Cancerians. All right? Bye, guys.